Yeah. It's not your house. Oh, don't speak to Brian like that. Oh, what? He won't bring us any presents. Oh, what's happened? I thought they'd be all right when Joseph went. I thought they were just showing off. Well, I think they're just a bit overexcited. <laughs> That's like saying the, the Visigoths were overexcited when they sacked Rome. Any more of this nonsense, and you two are going over my knee, whatever age you are. Not on my watch. Corporal punishment is both morally bankrupt and wholly ineffectual as a controlling mechanism. Do you want your backside tanning? No. Do you want your backside tanning? No. Are you going to be good? Yeah. Yeah. Love and patience will always win out over fear. That's right. Oh, and what about barefaced lies? Mr. Claus. He's not Santa. Santa? You can stop pretending, because we know all about it, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Conning little gullible children. What are you talking about? Evelyn, please don't. Telling them that your father Christmas, and they won't get any presents, if they don't behave themselves, well, they know the truth now, but they're very, very angry. You thought I was Father Christmas? Yeah, you lied to her. No, 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 he didn't. It, it, it was me. It was my fault. Was... Brian, wait! You're paying yourself overtime. Oh, you know me. I do it for love. Anyway, that's a bottle of wine and a box set when you've got PAYE to do. And, uh, let's face it, Peter would never get it done, would he? Well, it's tough at the top. Glad I'm out of it. What are you talking about? You head honcho or the Rovers? Yeah, well, I might not be there much longer. Eh? I've done some at love. Some I regret. Well, that's not really narrowing it down, is it, Johnny? I slept with Liz. Oh. I see. Is that all you got to say? Well, I've had bigger surprises. Anyway, I thought the wind was blowing that way. Yeah, well, it's not now. It was a while back and I wish to God it hadn't happened. I was feeling lost after Aiden died. Not that I'd used that as an excuse. I should hope not. Things were bad with Jenny, as you know. Liz had a soft spot for me and I found comfort with Oh, her. and you are telling me this now because... has your conscience got the better of you? Every day, but... it's more than that. Someone's found out and they're trying to blackmail me. What? Steve! Steve! Tim, you've not seen him, have you? Not really, no. He was knocking him back in the pub earlier. You tried ringing him? Yeah, straight to answering machine. Thing is, I can hear music, but nobody's answering. Well, Liz is working. But like I say, he was caning it in the pub. He's probably just fallen asleep and left the radio on. Well, we're going to have to wake him up. Tracy called me, Amy's in hospital. She all right? Yeah, she's fine. I think she's just hurt her arm, but Tracy asked me to take Steve down, so... Right, need the spare key, mate. Spare key? Yeah, for the flat, the one you keep in the office. Go and grab it for us, will you? All right, give us a sec. Um, carry on shouting and pressing the buzzer and that. Steve! <laughs> 